Imagine you're on a 12 hour long drive and your car breaks down in the middle of nowhere. What would you really do in that situation? I decided to go to a motel. That's just the motel itself is just really, really off putting. Will I live? Will I survive? Will I be able to just sleep for the night? Let's see. Yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video, guys. We are doing Fears of Fathom once again, but this time we are doing episode two, Norwood Hitchhike. So we are just gonna jump right into it, you guys. I am very excited to play the second part or the second episode of this game. The first one got me so bad and I cannot wait to get jump scared just because this game is just so awesome. So let's jump right into it. It's gonna be playtime around 20, 40 minutes. So this one's gonna take a bit longer. So this recording is going to be a bit longer um i'm sure you guys don't mind but i'm just uh saying that out there just so you guys are aware so let's jump in oh yeah so while this game is loading up i also heard from one of my friends that this game also has voice recognition so i'm assuming that's why i might have died last time this happened to me when i was 19 i'm a little over 21 now i actually like that you actually can press the uh keys now so that will actually bring up text instead of last time it took quite a while i still remember very clearly because of how creeped out i felt i was a bit hesitant to, to write this out for the internet first but getting it out may help even if it's just a little bit <laughs> i got fucking hair in my mouth i was one of those people who loves gaming conventions i go to every convention i get the chance to and sometimes even meet some of my online friends Though my parents weren't always thrilled at the idea of me going on interstate drives. Well, I mean, you are 16. I mean, but a plane ticket would, would have been too expensive. This convention I was at went great. And now the day to drive back home. But when I set off, I soon realized the traffic was horrible. So I decided to take the long way to avoid the traffic. Oh, Jesus Christ. I would never take the long way back. I would just sit in traffic. So at least at one point it clears up. It was a little over a 12-hour drive. Fuck, man. All right, so let's get this show on the road, shall we? Let's go. Oh, god damn. It wants me to text and drive? Wait, what? Well, oh, fuck. I was paying attention to my stream. Never mind my stream. Uh, you got to do you. Okay. See, this is what I would do. I would follow my life blinker, and I would uh, go over right on this side here. Let me see what some of these text messages are. You called? Yeah, I think I'm going to that convention. Could, could I get your car for like five days, please? With who? Aiden. That internet friend? He's a nice guy. No, you're not going to drive for 10 hours by yourself. Well, I already made up my mind. I'll drive you. Why don't you understand anything? Let's talk when I get home. Drive safe, Holly. Don't forget to call me. All right, you got it, Dad. Anything else? Leaving now. Drive safe. All right, so this is Aiden, who apparently her friend, Discord. We got ticks. So, I'll see if I can get the car. I'll let you know. Finally going to take a mile for uh, on a walk. All right, LOL. All right, the plan is on. Hell yes. When you, wait, are you getting the car? Yes. Big girl. You sure Ash can't come? I'll get the skate... I'll get... What? I'll get the skateboard too. Saw this really cool skate park near, nearby. Sounds fun. Discord. Where are you? See, this is what they're really good at. They're really good at, like, making stuff believable and more or less, like, how a 16-year-old would talk if they were a gamer. That's actually pretty sick, because this is what I do. I say Discord, and <laughs> that's just how it goes. Where are you? Almost there. I don't see why. Peach shirt? Okay, so they're at the convention around this time. It was fun. I had a good time. Thanks for joining me. Smiley face. Again, you sure driving all the way back? I don't really have much of a choice now, do I? Could have left to Could have left tomorrow morning. I fucking hope this is a copyright. Okay, give me a call when you reach back to have... Uh, Ryo, could you have, would you ca wait, what? Okay, give me a call when you reach back to your cave. Okay, dad. Not sure if I'll be, if it'll be this lifetime, though. What do you mean? Stuck in the biggest traffic jam of the country. That sucks. It's not too good here either. I think it's the, I think it's the people from the convention. That's it. I'm rerouting here. You gotta do what you gotta do. You gotta do what you gotta do is right. So let's fucking drive. Let's go. Let's drive to, uh, home. This music is actually low-key banging, though. So, I don't. I hope this is not copyright. Um, hey! I almost just fucking crashed into him. Um, oh, god damn it, Dad. Where did you reach? Six hours away. Got stuck in a jam. <laughs> Jelly jam or strawberry jam? <laughs> oh, god damn, I need to get fucking gas. 
Ugh. Near halfway through the drive, I realized I was low on gas. You can still fucking drive faster, though. Okay, well, let's put turbo on this fucking thing, dude. Go, 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 go. God damn it. Told you to take that flight. Oh, Holly, it's gonna be late when you reach back. Hope you're feeling all right. Listen, if you really want, if you really want me to take a fucking plane ride, who the fuck was that? Was that a fucking skinwalker? Oh my god, this. Uh. Um. I can't even tell which side the pump's on. Oh well, I don't think. Oh god, it's not that fucking far. All right, there we go. Let's get out. All right, Jesus Christ. Dude, 360s out here. Okay, so these are my bag, my skateboard, my hat. Awesome. Let's uh, let's go say, let's get some gas here. Excuse me. <laughs> my God. Hello, sir. How's your night going? He just looked at me. Where are you headed? He just looked at me. All right. Well. Uh, Holly, mom. She's not gonna text back. Excuse me. Can I get ten dollars on pump two? I. What is with people not saying anything? You're heading to the bridge by yourself. Well, yeah, yes, why? Not a lot of people head down that there this time of year. Be careful. What do you mean? For about a century, how many people have been going missing down there? And people who went looking for them never returned. We'll go say that Nor Norwood Valley Monster has torn them up and hung them upside down on trees? Well, thanks for the gas. <laughs> I mean, like, there's nothing else that you would... I, who else would say anything? Oh, and one... What the fuck? Oh, and one more thing. If you see a woman in white or blue gown trying to get a ride, do not stop. Just step on the gas as hard as you can. Who is she? Some people say that she died in a car accident there on some prom night. Some say that she seeks revenge after she was murdered there. Regardless, she's out for blood. Whatever you do, never, ever, under any circumstances, pick up a hitchhiker. Those people out there on the road putting their thumbs out, they ain't what you think they are, ma'am. They just ain't. All right, well, if you say so, man. Hey! What the way he just fucking Jesus! I don't know if you'll find any shop at, a, at this hour, but we're out, we're out of dog food. Can you get something for Milo? I'll pay you back. Oh, motherfucker. You couldn't have told me three seconds ago. You texted me and I texted you back two seconds ago and you couldn't text me back? Uh, where is this milk that's like fucking lime, like lime juice or something? Sodas, a bunch of fucking beer, holy shit. Oh, this fucking needs to break. Um. The, oh, is this dog food? Hell yeah. Pat Pat. My god, Pat Pat. Let's go. That'll be one dog food, please. <laughs> That'll be five. Oh, I have to hold it? Okay. That'll be five dollars. Dude, that shit's fucking cheap. Guys, buy your dog food at fucking your local uh, gas station on the side of the road. I'm still concerned on why the fuck there was somebody like in that van and they just took off. They didn't even get gas. They just fucking stood here, looked at the fucking window and... Oh, I have to put this in my trunk. Okay. Uh, hey. Does that work? Fuck it. No, it won't. Oh, I gotta pump my gas. Let's pump that gas. Yeah. Fill the tank up, and I was off on the road again. Let's go. Let's hear this jam session. Oh, shit. Well, we got to merge on here, I guess. Bro, you're on two sides of the road. Unless it's a one-way. But it doesn't look like a one-way. Being on the road, you do realize a thing. Monsters truly do exist. Every single one of them just looks like you and me. God damn it, mom. What do you want? Mom, don't you know that I'm literally driving? And there goes my fucking light. Dude. What happened to my lights? Oh, there we go. Jesus Christ. Is there a car straight ahead? Oh, why is he slowing down for? He was zooming a few seconds ago. 
Oh my, what's my lights doing? My ball about to go out? My taillight about to go, oh don't. If my taillight goes out and a police officer pulls me over or some shit. God damn it, bro, what is this guy doing? Come on, you know the speed limit? I'm gonna fucking rear end this motherfucker. Oh fuck, I'm skirting. <laughs> okay, he's going. He finally realized what the fucking, uh, how slow he was going. And my lights are still out, by the way. It's 30. Well, my lights are out and I'm going 30 miles an hour. Can my lights please get back on? Where the fuck am I supposed to go? I came vividly. What was that? Someone just take a photo. Oh, there we, there we go. That's so weird. Who's fucking lights? Oh my God. I'm gonna listen to this fucking song on the fucking car. Just like I put my, so I can have the immersive experience. <laughs> Let's go, drive, drive, drive. We driving for six hours, boys. Boys and girls, buckle up. We are driving for six hours back. Oh my God, we are on a dirt road. Oh, here's the bridge. So don't pick up a fucking hitchhiker. Girl in like a white or blue prom dress or something like that. I mean, I would never pick up a hitchhiker in a fucking game anyways. Why would I do it? I don't do that in real life. Why would I do that in a game? It's actually kind of a, kind of a peaceful drive here, you know? Oh, uh, well, there goes the fucking radio signal, huh? Well, I could have just turned that off to begin with. Driving at night is really therapeutic for me. Well, at least it used to be. Driving at night is actually pretty therapeutic for me. It's actually pretty... Motherfucker! My lights again! Alright. Go, go, go. Drive, drive, drive. You know, it's just like, I would never drive in a dirt road like this, ever. Why is there a car on the side of the road? I hope it's abandoned, I hope it's broken down, I hope it's not, uh... I hope it's not a... Oh! What type of fucking rabbit is that? Is that a fucking skinwalker? I have never s heard a rabbit, like... Ugh. What the... I, I didn't see what that said. I saw two big dogs in the middle of the road blocking the way ahead. Oh my god. There's no fucking... Oh, there, oh, it's right there. Do I haul these fucking... I haul these logs out of the way? Those were heavy. But goddamn, you have some strength, I'll tell you that. Hello? Is that the fucking... Is that the rabbit? I didn't mean to call you a, a skinwalker. You know, you're probably just some really jacked up fucking rabbit. Uh, get in the car. Just get in the car. Get in the car. Um. You're fucking with me, right? The car wouldn't start back up. Well, how about we start up, huh? I heard if you slam it, it actually works. Oh, and just like that, I was straight in the middle of nowhere with no phone service. Dude, are you fucking kidding me? You're fucking kidding me, right? Oh my god. Well, um... We're out here. We are just chilling. I don't mean to sound like this as a cliche horror story, but... Throughout my life, I was told not to take rides from strangers. Um, I still wouldn't. Oh, it fucking... It's smoking, but at the moment I had no choice. Oh, uh, oh! I don't get back in the car. God damn! All right, I guess we're just fading to black. Ten twenty-three p.m. I don't know. I don't know when the last like time thing was. I don't think there was one. So ten twenty-three. You know, we just chilling. We'll just sit on the side of the sit right here. I saw a car nearing. Hey, hey, help me! Excuse me, can you help? Oh my! What the fuck is your problem? I'm standing... Turn on your high beams, asshole. Pure evil. Yeah, you're fucking right, pure evil. I knew we just got fucking smashed between my... I didn't understand how somebody could have left another human being stranded like that. Well, I mean... To be fair, your thing did say don't pick up random strangers. It's 20 minutes later. 10.43 p.m. Jesus Christ. All right. Well, uh, what else did I, what, what else is going on here? 
Is there another car that's gonna be coming by? Hell yeah, look at that. Hey! Hey, I, I'm right here. Please do not run me over, please. Hey! Oh my god, there's a guy in the Okay, it's not the guy in the van, thank god. Excuse me! Excuse me, sir! Oh, he's pulling over. Oh, help! Help me, please! There's a rabbit out here! It's not a rabbit! Excuse me, sir? You're the girl from the gas station. Oh, it's the homeboy! Thank you so much for stopping. What are you trying to do out here? I think my car just broke down. I can't call for help. There's no phone service. I think I can. You think I could get a ride? Where are you headed to? Just the nearest stop where I can call for help. Hop in. Thank you so much. Could you wait till I get my stuff? Hurry up. Just throw in the back. I won't be here for too long. It's not safe to. It's not safe. Just get out of here. All right. Well, it looks like I'm getting my stuff. It, oh my god. I only have two hands. Can I only, Can I pick up more than two? Like one or two things? I hope so. Um, let's get this. Get the, can I grab? I only have two hands. Oh my fucking god. All right. Whatever. All right. That's everything, sir. I'm done. Finally, now hop in. Be quick. All right. 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 Get me in. Get me in. Get me in. Go, go, drive, drive. Hi, sir. I love how these glasses are just like ingrained in his face. That's why I really like, like about these graphics. That's like a PlayStation 1 type like graphic settings. And that that's like really cool. I really I really vibe with it. So you won't tell me who you are, where you are going. Um, I was driving home. And that piece of crap broke down on me. Jason? What? My name's Jason. I'm Holly. Nice to meet you. Can we turn on some radio here? You're really lucky I had to be on this side of the town tonight. I must say, you are one brave young woman. How's that? You got you got any clue what happened to your car back there? I think it was the battery. Are you sure? It's my dad. That's pretty old. Alright, don't, don't give me the cold shoulder. I'm sorry my car is fucking a piece of shit. So what do you think... So what do you think about what he told you back there at the gas station? Uh, he really creeped me out. Interesting. Idiot tells that to every person traveling down here. So is it true? What, the monster? Let's say I've never seen the monster for myself, but there are... There are some things. And I'm afraid your car breaking down what might could have been one of them. No, my car is just a piece of shit. What makes you think that, like, that's a fucking issue? Do they have telekinetic powers to turn off my car? Hey, listen, I don't want to sound like that moron, but let's just say this. Do you don't bother them... And you don't be bothered. That's easy to do, huh? Well, you're not, at least you're a kind young man, even though you're kind of an asshole when I asked you how you were and you just kind of just spit in my face. You know, I'm sorry for, oh, I'm, you know, I'm sorry for being a jerk to you before. I'm not with, I'm not the best with people. Oh, it's okay, dude. It happens to the best of us. But I appreciate you clearing the air. So how's your day going, though? Like, for real, like, how is your day going? Can you tell me? Oh, no, you're just, we're fading the black. I want to know how his day is, at least. 12.08 a.m. So it took us, what, like, two hours? After a little bit of small talk, he dropped me up by the motel. Apparently, they offer roadside assistance. Besides, I thought I could use a little rest. Be careful. All these all kind. Be careful. There are all kinds of people out there, he said ominously before leaving. No, well, he's not wrong. Thank you, dude. Jason? Maybe we'll see him in the next episode or something like that. Hello, man. Oh my God, you look so fucking creepy. The man was putting out the creepiest vibes imaginable. So I walked up to the counter. <laughs> gal, gal need a room to shack up for the knot? <laughs> that, that's how I'm like, assuming that's how this guy's saying. Um, yes, I'm only gonna be here for a few hours. $40 for a single, pay cash only. Alrighty, ah, I fucking, uh, so expensive. Room number nine, right over there. $90. Tommy will take care of it right next thing in the morning. Bro, chick, if you have this money on you, you could have bought a fucking one-way point ticket with Spirit. I'm, um, trust me, they're fucking cheap. You probably made a one-way. Or, but fucking round trip, sorry. Good, I let Tommy know. And one last thing. Try not to wick the other guest. They might not try to take very kindly. <laughs> Why am I trying to think? Oh my god. I'm gonna take very kindly. Why do I keep saying kindly? They might take very nicely to it. Dot, dot, dot. All right, well, thanks. All right, so I gotta go to room number nine. What's in here? Can I actually buy some stuff? 
Consuming these items increases your sprint speed. All right. Let's buy the soda can. And they kind of have a little, little caffeine at least a little bit, a little bit of a sugar rush. All right, consume. Go, 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 go. All right, cool. Just trying for a wee bit here. Oh, mom. Oh my god, why is everyone texting me right now? Hey, where are you at? Your dad's calling me. Oh, it's not delivering. Dad, I might have to stay at the motel tonight. Holly? Yeah, because there's no service here. Where is... This is room number 11. That'd be probably 10. 10. And this one's 9. Alrighty, there is literally no mattress in here. What the fuck? Am I supposed to be on the fucking boards tonight? Except there's a smell of type of musky smell you get from an old house. Alright. Um... We got the same mechanic as last time. Um, hello, anybody in here? Doesn't seem like it. All right. Oh! What are you doing in here? Oh my fucking god! That actually got the God Almighty scared the crap out of me. <laughs> Who are you? I'm Tommy, room service. Here at Rodwell Inn. Rodway Inn. The finest stopover in Norwood. What were you doing in here? You know, cleaning stuff. Ominous, but okay. Got the front desk gave me this room. <laughs> I'm gonna have to ask you to step outside while I make the room. I'll just get my stuff. Could I... Hello? Okay, so it's... it's Bound to my mic. As I was saying before, my friend told me that, that if you enter a hiding space or something like that, just to check your mic, make sure it's not um, set to anything like um, like a webcam mic or like your system mic or something of that nature. So I had to make sure that I made sure that everything was all right and it seems to be all right. So let me just go get my stuff then. Oh my God. Really? Really need to get me into some energy soda. Are you fucking kidding me? Is this like telling me that I, if I get something to drink, that it's gonna make me faster? Is I gonna move some of my stuff back and forth? Probably, right? Consume. Drink, drink, drink up. But I really do love the vibe of this game, though. It... Hey, Tommy. Thank you for making my bed. Oh. Had a word with Joe about the situation. What is wrong with these people? Mercy, mercy, mercy. Is that like some fucking chant that you do? Are you part of a cult? Are you gonna murder me in my sleep later? But don't you worry, it's safe here. I'll go get your car. And also, the room's phone is not working. If you need anything, just ask the front desk. We've been trying to get it fixed, but we haven't been seeing enough guests lately here. Hee 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 hee. Like, alright. But you know, but you know, have a good night. Thanks, Tommy. Um... Don't, don't close the door, sir. I have to still get myself. You know, it's just like just the ambience that is just playing the entire time. It's just really like really freaky. You know what I mean? Like, it's just how it is sometimes. Hello, Tommy. Well, I think when I saw that guy on the side of the road, he was wearing like white. He was wearing like white clothes or something, right? Right? Am I or am I just tripping? Like, did he have white clothes? Or did he just like naked? Like, I don't know what that was. All right, so we finally got the rest of my stuff. We're just gonna be sprinting back to my room hopefully gonna be falling asleep and hopefully that just beat the end of the game and i just wake up my car is back here everything is fine and dandy all right let's just hit the hay as they say Call it a foresight, but there was something off about this place. I couldn't help shake the feeling that something wasn't right. I feel tiredness, but overcoming by anxiety. Why was there a guy at my fucking window? A hot cup of coffee would help, I thought to myself. Okay. Why was there a guy looking in my fucking... Was there some guy taking a piss in my fucking bathroom? Alright, well, let's get some coffee. Let's get a nice espresso. Consume. 
Sweet, so we're drinking a good old thing of espresso. You know, what the fuck? Did my game just crash? Uh, 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 what is happening? Did I just drink fucking purple acid? What the fuck is happening? Dude, this is so loud. What is happening? What? Run! Run, 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 run away, run, I don't know what's happening, everything is fucking, I can't read my text, because it's blurry, because I'm high, oh, go, 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 oh, oh, yo, chill out, please. Oh, I thought my game just crashed. I got the fucking circle. 3.18 p.m. AM. I was sedated. Uh, yeah, you think? You got a big hit of fucking purple. Hello? What is happening? Oh, is this, guy, is this guy? Is this guy? Didn't I specifically tell you not to wake anybody up? Uh, did I? I have complaints. What are those making all those goofy noises for? Whatever it is, just keep it down, miss. Is that why are your eyes all red? I'm gonna mention the coffee machine. My coffee machine's fucked up, dude. Are you messing with me? No, no, I, I got fucking sedated. We don't have no coffee machine here. No, it's right over here. Okay, okay, here. I've had enough for your crazy goons here for once. I thought we had a sober guest, but I guess I'm the crazy one here. No, you will be. Ready? I'll show you. I hate my job. Here, come here. Come here. Plus, there's somebody in my fucking house, by the way. And I don't know if you realize that, but somebody has just went right in my closet. I'm not fucking checking it at all. Come on. I'll show you. Come here. Come on. Is it gone? Yo, I... S Sir, you may think I'm fucking... Is this trunk wasn't open before. Sir, there was... Why is there a paint can here? Sir, there. I swear to God, there was a, there was a coffee machine here. I drank some really good espresso. Then there was a... Hey, yo! Yo, so, uh, fuck it. This guy just fucking left. Where is it now? Uh, it, 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 was, it was right here. Bro, that guy just fucking left my fucking house. Or my fucking motel. Go back to your room. For some reason, his demeanor completely changed. I swear to God, it was right here. I said, go back now. All right. Well, that guy left my room anyway. There should be some medication in your room that should offer you some relief. Check the table by the TV. All right. All right. I, I, the guy has fully left, right? There's like two of them. They not, that was like a decoy or some shit to prove that he like left. All right. Okay. Let me take some of my medication here. All right. All right, drink, drink, drink. Take my fucking. If I get high again, I mean, I know who to blame. All right, so that guy has definitely left my, you know. All right, let's go to bed. Let's go back to bed. It was all just a dream, you know. Let's just, let's just relax here. Let's just take a nap. Just do our thing. Oh my god, like. What the fuck? I don't understand what is happening here. Like, I literally, like... 
Like, was he about to murder me? But then he just, like, was like, nah, I'm just gonna scare him. And say, he could have murdered me right then and there. I was fucking past the fucking... But why is the door just not locked? Did he just teleport in here? Did he just... Jimmy open the lock? Whoa! Did someone just take a photo? Uh... Uh... Oh, there's someone walking over here. What? Hello? Who is it? Please open the door. I need your help. What do you want? I need your help. Please open the door. Please leave. I still need to talk to you. I swear I'm not a cop. Go away or I'm going to call the cops. Pretty lady. Oh my god. What just happened? To this day, I, fi I find it really weird that the manager inferred not to get police involved as it would affect the motel's reputation and let go of the situation. I believe that the town could have been home to a cult or a drug ring or possibly something even worse. Tommy arrived at the car after, the after what felt like a year. I never went on a long road trip again. I would always take the airplanes. Hell yes, he would. Was that it? Wow. So what I am gathering, I'm going to turn this down just a bit. So what I'm gathering with this game so far is that this always seems to be something about either getting killed or getting kidnapped or something of that nature. In the first game, it seemed to be that you someone's house got it's always seems to be something like someone's breaking into something it seems that it's the first one they got your house broken into and now this one your motel room got broken into whether they're by the same person or they're in the same like uh city or town or state or something like that or country it seems really weird and i'm really intrigued what the third episode is going to be about um so whenever that third episode does eventually come out guys my video will drop that same day or the day after but guys I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video, guys. Thank you so much for the constant support. That was Fears of Fathom Episode 2, The Northwood Hitchhike. I just want to say thank you guys so much. I hope you guys enjoy this video. And yeah, guys, that's it for this video. Peace out, guys. Have a good one.